In this video, we will discuss Bell v. Burson as an example of the Supreme Court's interpretation of the Due Process Clause. The 14th Amendment prohibits any state from depriving a person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. So what does it mean for the state to provide someone with a due process? In general terms, this means before the state takes away someone's freedom or property, the state has to apply some sort of fair procedure first. Now the amount of due process that's required is going to depend on what's at stake. For example, if the state denies someone's welfare claim, the state does not have to give as much due process as it would if it was going to convict someone of a felony charge. The Due Process Clause would require a person accused of committing a serious crime to be entitled to a fair trial before being sent to prison. The Bell v. Burson case is an older case from 1971 and starts off in Georgia. And the case began with a car accident. Georgia law provided that if someone is driving without car insurance and gets in an accident, his license would automatically be suspended. Now, if the driver had enough money, he could post a bond based on the damage caused by the accident. But in practical terms, this meant that most people who were involved in an accident and didn't have car insurance would have their license suspended even if there was no determination that the accident was the driver's fault. The case went to the Supreme Court, which noted that a driver's license is important to a person's life and to his livelihood. So by suspending the driver's license without a hearing, the state denied the driver due process. The Supreme Court concluded that before the state could take away the driver's license, the state must have a hearing as to whether there was a reasonable possibility that the driver would ultimately be found at fault for the accident. To summarize, the Due Process Clause requires a state to provide fair procedures before taking away someone's life, liberty, or property. In Bell v. Burson, the Supreme Court concluded that a driver's license is an important privilege. Therefore, due process required Georgia to provide a hearing as to liability instead of automatically revoking a driver's license. 